beautiful day today late october sun got a little scrapyard load here a lot of this is from my last video i've thrown in a few other items figured i'd make a round trip video today what i'm gonna do is zip down to the neighboring town about eight miles or so you know what i should actually record <laughs> exactly how long it is so i can give a right number 41.5 miles so uh about eight yard uh eight yards <laughs> i need to get back in time for thursday night football uh eight miles or so it's uh, about 4 15 they close at five zip down there get this load off i'm gonna be bop back home scavenging on the way home try to get back maybe by seven o'clock or so see how that goes or i guess it's gonna be sundown when the sun goes down or when the battery runs out somewhere around there run this down real quick for you this is gonna go with tin shred old sewing machine old chair this is also a tin shed here. What I've got here is an old fire extinguisher. An old uh, on, you gotta keep that. stroller. What? You gotta keep that. Keep what? That fire extinguisher. It's got a hole in it. I know, we're not supposed to mess with them at all. Yeah, I'll no, take it not today. anymore? No, we're not supposed to. I'll take it today yeah. off your I found that in an yeah. old dump. Yeah, we're not supposed to mess Are you going to the front off. scale? Yep. Mind if I keep the camera on? Yeah. Can, can I get 30 yeah. seconds? Yeah, you're good, Bob. Hey, thanks, man. Careful that handle there. Oh, makes, yeah. It's brittle. You got cold weather, it makes it brittle. You got a uh, bucket of brass here. It's like part of a lamp and some plumbing brass. They may give me a different price for the plumber's brass. We'll see what happens. Got some aluminum in here, some old uh, carpet tack down thingy majiggies. Piece of a uh, light. Uh, encasement. Here's the rest of the light deal. This is gonna go as breakage in here. It's got aluminum and uh, porcelain and steel in there. Old dog collar with some aluminum tags. Not a whole lot of breakage, but separate that out. Number two insulated copper wire. They call this 50% now. 50% copper insulated. And I got an empty bucket here. That's exciting stuff. Got uh, some cans. Throw a little foil in there sometimes they don't care if you just have a little bit of foil if you throw it in there but oh, oh, if you have a bunch of, if i had a bunch of foil they would separate it into its own category you just gotta know how your scrap yards do things and uh i guess that's all i brought that's a dog leash here and those circuit boards are going to boardsort.com there are these cell phones uh, over a pound there so that's, that's about uh, three dollars and fifty cents three dollars and seventy cents sending that to board sort of course you'll send in a big chunky a big old chunky shipment to make it worth your while people say board sort isn't all that great because you have to pay shipping but my only other alternative would be to throw this in with my tin shred at three or four cents a pound as opposed to shipping it to board sort for three dollars and 75 cents a pound so it's definitely a better way for me to do it if you don't have a scrap yard that buys e-waste for proper prices you want to have a look at a place like that there's other places on online you might find one closer to where you live to cut down shipping costs but uh the one i send mine to is in ohio it's boardsort.com bicycle trailer rig how's that trailer work out for you it's working okay yeah i like keep air in big tires yeah i see you got a flat i put some fixing flats in i put some that's some fixing flats it's holding up now it's a pain in the butt it's not holding up anymore hey use that slime on my flat have you tried to slime the green yeah. stuff buy it at walmart uh, i found that works real well 
You got your a pump though. You know what you're doing, huh? Yeah, I do. It's a nice bicycle trick. It is a nice one. I have seen one like it. I've seen similar. To make that trail it. You make the trail right yourself? Um not exactly, no. Yeah. It looks... was, I had a trailer and I loaned it out and it got whatever. It looks like it rolls and this nice. Is the <laughs> on YouTube post. <laughs> you, you don't mind if I put you on, on this, this rig on YouTube? I don't mind. I won't no, put no. you on there. Yeah, looks I, like it pulls pretty nice though. Come here, you gotta get does. a pose with us. I mean, Come here, young man. Get does. over here. Nah, man. Come on, I like the pose for you. You want know pose? This is the hard working man right here. And that's the next one. Have you ever got in a situation where you kind of get a uh, jackknifed and wrecked oh, and stuff? Oh yeah, I wrecked and the trailer run over me yeah, with a bicycle. Yeah, it's dangerous, huh? It is dangerous. <laughs> it's just like a vehicle. Yeah. That weight. Is, I, I seen it a guy against you. I seen a guy wipe out once. He's just lollygagging around, leaving Walmart. He took it. He's trying to stay on the sidewalk, the 90 degree angle from the, from the driveway to the sidewalk, and I think just jackknifed on him. It ripped, flipped him off. He was like, boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> It will. Hey, take it easy, no, man. I, yeah, I hauled so much weight on here, I don't want to overload him. Yeah. When I can't even push the bike and it's like this. I got to get on it and ride it. And then it's like, it's like pulling a lead sled. Yeah. It is. It's a lot but of work. Once you get going, yeah, I, it is a lot of work. I put a big tote here like this. Yeah. That's a different, it'd be, this is like carrying a backpack <laughs> on your back. Yeah. And this would be like chaining a, a lead ball to your right, waist. Yeah, I'm going to go down close. I appreciate you. Later, man. Yep, I'll see you around. Prices look pretty similar. Yeah. I got it. It's worth a lot of Not a whole lot of change. Yeah, it's constantly evolving, little deal. Exactly. I know that. You can, I can take this pin out. Yeah. And the trailer will, will dump, you know what I mean? Well, if I need it, you know what I mean? If I need to drive something on there or something, maybe. What's the most weight you've pulled? Probably about, uh, around two, no more than 250. 250? Yeah. Let's see how we do it here. And then I'll get to the scavenge in action. 58 pounds 10 for $2.32. 50 percent insulated copper wire also known as number two five pounds eight pounds four dollars and eighty cents three pounds of cans for a dollar five one pound aluminum breakage for five cents two pounds of brass for two dollars and sixty cents pound of clean aluminum 25 cents for a grand total eleven dollars and seven cents Okay, let's get on to the show. Yahtzee! Think about that. Yeah, that is a nice little grip of copper wires. I haven't checked this place in quite a while. A lot of do daddy.
That was a little more powerful than I thought. I barely even pulled anything. Sheesh. Money, 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 money. It's good stuff right here, what do you think? I wonder if the people that live in that house knew that, I wonder if they know that they could almost pay their mortgage <laughs> if they just came and did this. If, if there was that much stuff in here every single day that is. I'm sure this place throws out a lot of stuff. I know, I know it's consistent. I should have never stopped checking it. I don't know. I don't come down here as much as I used to. But this is no joke right here. I mean, that's copper. Fist full of copper. It's basically the equivalent of holding a fist full of money. Well, it is the equivalent actually. Literally, literally in their backyard. <laughs> A lot of people just don't understand the value of a deal like this. I mean, it's, uh, doesn't get a whole lot better than this. In the scrap world. Just gotta watch out for everyone's lunch. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's see, look at that. Little speaker. No Kenwood. It's a nice little speaker. Huh. See these gold pins in here? Gold plated pins. See that shining in the sunlight? You can send those to boresort.com. They buy those. They got a category for this. It's a real interesting site if you go check it out. Boardsort.com. Link is in the description. Hey, look at that. Little nut driver. Specialized doohickey. COVID-19 has led me to equip myself with a new piece of equipment. I don't have it on right now. I should. It really works well. It's kind of the 
kind of the missing link to my my toolbox let's show it to you real quick The bandana face covering i tie this around my my face of course for COVID 19 around my neck i never really considered wearing one of these before and then when you're not doing stuff you can just pull it down like so them cowboys knew what they were doing huh i usually would just when it gets dusty like that i would just pull my shirt up over my face you know like this blah 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 but uh this was my missing link there it is That's a nice grip, look at that. What do you think about that? Bucket full of copper to start. It's that time of year. Looks like the dude named his paintball rig, the Big Karen. Hey, he's been doing some work on it now. <laughs> I guess it wasn't because it wasn't street legal. He got the steel plates back on his windows. I'm pretty sure that's not street legal, but uh, he's probably got them fashioned in a way where he can take them off, put them back on. The ultimate in paintball gear. Hey, he's got, look at that. That's a, a night vision camera. <laughs> huh. have a video in the description how to clean the copper out of these old CRT televisions technically that's not supposed to be in the dumpster like this I'm finally seeing a decrease in the amount of these over the last 13 years or so it used to be I would see maybe a dozen of those every time I came out I don't think I think they're finally starting to dissipate but uh, there might be a pound of copper in there, some wires and some other knickknacks, some petty wakes and stuff. It's kind of neat. I'm gonna see if I can make a mouse pad out of that, or put it in a free tail store, most likely. <laughs> There's another project. That's at the root of hoarderism. I'll make a project out of that, and I'll make a project out of this, and I'll make a project out of that, and I'll hang on to this for something someday, and I'll do this, and I'll do that. Just get rid of that stuff, man. Hey, look at it. Oh, 
brake head. It's a big one. Chunky. What do we have here? Some home gym action. How you doing? Great, Looks like they're functional. The glider, the ab glider. <laughs> what a goofy thing. Somebody dumps, dumped their food pantry here. Look at this, we'll put this over here. Get that out of the trash man's way. So he don't squish it. Hey, that's some good stuff in there, look at that. Chicken noodle soup, and corn, and rotini soup, and black beans, and about $20. That's a big bag of rice, some more camp food. About $20, $30 worth of grub right there, so I wanted. What do you think? What do you think about that? Here's another one of these deals. Someone put their old motor oil in the backyard. <laughs> I don't know what, what they think is gonna happen with their motor oil. Like someone's gonna come get it or something. we have here. Look at that little gem. <clears throat> Looks abandoned to me, what do you think? I've been there for a while. That right there, folks, is about six dollars or so. Seven dollars at the scrapyard.
found this little club, some other stuff in here. I found this, it dawned on me. Ultra Truck Club. I saw a show once where professional thieves, this is like a lock that would go lock on your steering wheel, I think is what that is. Some sort of car lock. And professional thieves, this is just a total joke. <laughs> Took them like a couple of seconds. I don't remember exactly what they did, but uh, I think there's a piece missing. It's supposed to be a second piece to that. But it dawned on me. I was thinking about that show and how these are just a joke. And then it dawned on me. I was like, why would they name it the club? And then why? <laughs> why is there a, a hand grip on a locking device and it's named the club? And it dawned on me what that really is. That is a weapon disguised as a locking device that you can put under the seat of your car, and not get in trouble for. It's like it kind of just just kind of dawned on me. Isn't it interesting if you think about something for a while, you see what is really going on. Professional thieves know these are a total joke, and it's got a hand grip and it's named the club. Interesting. What are your thoughts? How do you perceive that device? Sun's almost down. Bicycle with a trailer. I don't know if you guys have actually ever pulled a trailer behind a bicycle or a small vehicle. It is not fun. Save you some trouble. A rig like this is much better. I don't know if you heard me at the scrapyard explain it to that guy. But when you have your weight on your vehicle like that, it's akin to wearing a backpack. Forkel. Forkel. Green speckle backs. Look at that. Forkel. 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 A couple green speckle back species in there. Um, it's akin to the difference between wearing a backpack on your back or tying a rope to your waist to a little red wagon <laughs> and put like 50 pounds of school books in a backpack or 50 pounds of school books in a little red wagon and tying it to your belt and, and pulling it around all day or wearing a backpack just imagine imagine for one second out there which would be better but anyways, I see that comment a lot. Trailers are dangerous and they're a pain in the behind. I was gonna say free tail swag only, but it's a little dirty and the handle's missing. I don't do broken and a little dirty. Come here, you little 
fuckle. All right, sun's down. Clock is six minutes fast, so it's about 6.40. Game starts in a half hour. I'll uh, make a Sunday night football video. A lot of people don't like my fantasy football videos, but I'm gonna try to win somebody a bunch of money one of these days. I didn't make one last week, but uh, anyways, enough said on that. I sure hope you enjoyed this little show. Not a bad little session. Just a trip to the scrapyard and back home is all it is. Nothing special, but on the same hand, it's pretty snazzy. As always, thanks for watching.